Hey, it's some old guy coding again, and we're going to take a look at uh, the Zen XY again. I've uh, got some uh, baking soda in there, although I'm not sure I'm really happy with the way things came out here. So I think I'm actually going to make a little bit of a change today. Let's tighten down that camera so it doesn't go anyplace. So you can see I put the baking soda in around the blocks out here, and uh, I got a little too much. I need to brush it off, but. I'm just not sure if I'm happy with that look. I kind of liked it uh, black, you know. I suppose eventually some of the baking soda is going to wander its way out there, but I just don't know that I like the uh, the low contrast. So um, I think today I'm just going to pull that guy out of there, pull, pull that baking soda out of those edges, and see how it looks again. And uh, you know, you guys can let me go know what you think. You know, which way should I go with that? With the baking soda? Without the baking soda? Something else? I don't know what, but uh, let me go ahead and grab a little vacuum cleaner here and we'll extract that baking soda. So I don't know, what do you think? Do you like it this way or do you like it the other way? I don't know, I'm kind of... I'm kind of liking it this way. We'll see how it goes. I'm, you know, I might, you know, change my mind in the future here. But uh, for the time being, I think we'll leave it like that. So, of course, we've got the uh, baking soda in there. Let's see if we have a wipe pattern. Here's a Sandify wipe that we ran before without the soda. Let's see what that looks like. Do I have uh, too much baking soda in there? I don't think it's quite as level as it needs to be. I think I need to get some out toward the corners there yet, but I'll probably just work that way through use. Let's try a couple of different things here. <clears throat> I've got a couple other patterns on here. I have uh, a triangle pattern from Sandify. And let's take a look at the uh, Transforms jobber here too. Uh, remember it our size, starting size of 10, offset, uh, let's see what happens. Ah. So down here we get to select the number of spins on this guy, and if we want to grow it, hey, that's cool, right off the top. We got the Vicious One logo here, we got a star, a triangle, and if we spin uh, a little bit more, uh, cool. Four, three. And what is the offset? Ten and oh, so it's it's sliding it one way or the other. Can we put a minus number in there? Oh, sure. So we can uh, kind of position it. We'll put it right in the middle here. Yeah, that's cool. I like the triangle. Let's go ahead and save that one too and give it a try. G28 generate downloads. And if I triangle. Well, that's pretty cool looking. I like that. Once again, I wonder if the, the ball is just a little bit too big for this space, although this comes out to be a very nice pattern. I really like it. Let's try something different. And then I think I have a, uh, another Sandify pattern here. I think I have a star pattern. I wanted to try uh, this turtle entry here. And of course we have to set our max, uh, max values to 193. There we go. Oh, it looks pretty cool already. Yeah, that's cool. So we got the number of spikes here. Spike curve radius. Oh, I see. Gotcha. All right. Cool. Well, that's pretty cool. And then we have uh, loops here too. 
hope we don't have an offset. Uh, rotate angle, there we go. Oh, very nice. Need a bigger angle, less, uh, fewer of these perhaps. Well, that would be an interesting thing to try right there, I think. <clears throat> and we've got it scaled up as high as we can here. Let's go ahead and save the G-code on that and see what happens. And we'll do a G28 in the beginning, of course. Let's see what that looks like. Ah, yes. I remember this one. Cool. Oh, that's cool. I think uh, maybe a little bit better suited to a larger uh, Zen XY <coughs> with a larger pattern, and uh, or maybe a smaller marble. We'll give that a try too. So I've been playing around on that mostly printed CNC fourth controller. I've got it uh, set up to do um, L systems now. And one L system I've got on here is the Coke Curve, K-O-C-H Curve. And uh, let's see if that looks at all decent on here, if it's just too, uh, too small resolution. Well, it's doing the right stuff and it's an interesting pattern, but once again, I just think the resolution is just a little too low for us to... Um... So here's the Sierpinski Triangle. Kind of interesting. I, I think it's a matter of learning to um, writing past uh, paths in the um, code to make use of maybe the overflow. Sort of like, sort of like. Let's go ahead and uh, home that one more time. Sort of like uh, in this triangle one, the Sandify triangle. Once again, in this pattern now, it's not so much the path of the ball, but the the excess stuff that it's pushing aside that makes the most interesting pattern in the middle. I think maybe the key is to take advantage of that. Still, that looks pretty nice. Maybe we should try a little bit smaller uh, bearing and see what happens there. Mm -hmm. 